have sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, it's Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Got a really fun video with my one of all time favorite destroyers, a good old daring. Yes, this is the destroyer I like to fall back on when you're just having a rough day or you just want to have an easy day and you just want to, you don't want to go too much, you don't want to go too little, but just the right amount. And that's daring. Before we get into the like, subscribe button below, we reached 2,000 subscribers. I'm going to put the link above. Go ahead and check out that video if you'd like to be part of the drawing. Got first, you got to be a subscriber and uh, put a comment with your gamer tag name and the server you play on and uh, we're going to do a drawing on monday as of now we're recording this on saturday so a couple more days we'll do a drawing and uh, do a free premium dd giveaway just to say thank you guys for helping us reach a milestone of 2,000 subs i know it's not much but we're just an average player average time having a great time but it's uh great that you guys are building a great community having a blast doing it and learning something at the same time but uh, as always thanks again for the subscribers and those who supported us I'll make sure you guys check out that video to be a part of it but let's get to it daring um i'm going to talk you through what my decision making process is uh, as we start this is brawls i think it was seven versus seven and yes there is a submarine player as a video titled a salty submarine player and just watch the chat throughout and you'll under kind of understand and think it's kind of ironic and funny uh how it all turned out but Anyways, they have a submarine, so I know that to me they're at a kind of a disadvantage without the amount of firepower they're bringing to bear. And I chose to go to straight to ACAP for that reason. They only have one destroyer and one submarine. I'm going to assume the submarine's not going to go to Alpha right off the bat just to, you know, he can't really cap if he's submerged all the time. And then, of course, the other cap at Bravo is being uh, taken over right now. I think that's where the destroyer player is. So, you know what? I don't feel too scared, and I have something smoking up, and maybe... That's the Napoli, and I think there's a Colbert in here somewhere. I'm not sure. So I approach cautiously. So I didn't go to Charlie because I have the Lucian over there capping. And your destroy your role as a destroyer player, and this is a good, very good learning techniques for all you new players out there. Your role as a destroyer player is to literally do everything. You're capping, you're spotting, you're shooting, you're torping, you're getting, you're doing everything. Okay. So basically, this is a good to kind of ease into it to know, hey, this is the thought process, the thinking making you need to be doing as a destroyer player because you are the leader of the group in my personal opinion because without a destroyer player majority of the time they the games are lost because there's no spotting there's no capping nobody's helping each other out the destroyer player is doing everything to support the bbs and the cruisers the cruisers and the battleships are there to provide the heavy lifting if you will but really much i personally think the um the destroyer player is doing all of the smaller lifting and there's a lot of smaller lifting everywhere out there so we capped that. We did our roll. We capped Alpha. And it's time for the enemy team to make a move and see what they do to make a mistake. So my thought process here is to probably go in the middle to spot. I was hoping this Colbert, there's a Colbert right there. I was hoping the Colbert would come out, pop out, and we would spot him and torp him. Unfortunately, he decided to hide behind an island. We lose our Prussian to the submarine. Can you believe it? Submarine in a rank or brawl game. Anyways, I digress. Our Haraguma takes out the Napoli with uh, guns and maybe torpedoes. And here we go. We spot the Colbert. Now, I did not realize he was in that close, so... I go ahead and, uh, you know, get out of jail, free car, pop the smoke, and I go undetected. Now, Colbert, I thought his smoke firing uh, penalty, uh, you know, basically if I'm in smoke and he, no one's spotting him, that if he fired inside of smoke or I'm in smoke, he would have been spotted. But I don't think the mechanic works that way. He has to be in smoke, and I believe his firing penalty is 5.5 uh, 5 or 5.9. I have to check. Let me check the, the website again. His smoke firing penalty is, just to correct, 5.59 on the, the, the WoW stat. So if he was in smoke, 5.9. If anybody's within 5.9, would have spotted him if he had fired. I thought that would have kicked off for me right there, but it did not. I don't even know if that mechanic works that way when I'm in the smoke and he's not. So, yeah, that doesn't work that way. Anyways, um... I'm going to go ahead and elect to just farm battleships. And the Daring is very, very good for that. It is a multi-purpose uh, gunboat. Uh, it does almost everything you need to do whenever you need it. Right at that moment you call for it, it provides. And I like the Daring for that reason. And it has heals because you're going to be doing a lot of shooting. And you're going to be taking a lot of fire. So you want to have that, that ability to heal and forget mistakes that you created. And it's good to have that knowing that, hey, I can be a little bit more aggressive. And we're trying to burn down. And it starts fires really, really well, the Daring. I mean, we already have two fires right now, off, right off the bat. And let's see if we can get one more. Nope, we can get another one. Let's see if we can start fire on the GK. So really, what is my role right now? I'm just trying to hold off this push that's happening on the eastern flank because we didn't have many uh, ships go that direction for some reason. We had a battleship go up to Alpha, which I think was unnecessary. And now they're turning back. Again, that's kind of like moving a chess piece and taking it back. Uh, it didn't solve anything, so I'm not really sure what happened there. But we, you notice that the two destroyers over here on the east side are holding off this advance pretty well. I mean, just us alone, me and the Lucian, can really do some damage and firepower, which stalled their assault, which is a good thing. 
And you can see the, uh, the amount of firepower we're putting on this Montana. And our goal is to get them out. And then we got the single launch torpedoes as well. Another great thing of a BB is rushing you. The, the Daring has that defensive capability. And he gets blapped by the Shikishima. The GK is in reverse behind an island, which is very odd to me. I've never seen that for a brawling battleship. Okay, but I guess it's the new world of warships these days. Uh, and again, just me and Aleutian and maybe a GK to my uh, left side or south, at the south side is holding off this small advance. We pop smoke... Because uh, I think that he's going to take a shot at us. Somebody took a shot at us, I think. Yep, then we can start another fire. So our goal is to start as many fires as possible. And basically, the way I've heard it is, you know, shoot, smoke up, pop, um, and start a fire, then move again, shoot, smoke, pop a fire again. It really just that kind of hit and run tactics that I really, really like about the daring. It's very devastating the enemy team, especially we get it right. You got hydro just to make sure you're not having torpedoes incoming. Um, I'm not too worried. The destroyer player is has not been spotted lately, maybe. Oh, actually, it is the Marceau. So I don't want to mess around with the Marceau. And I know his torpedoes are there. Yeah, here's the Marceau. But I don't want to mess around with his uh, guns. But the torpedoes don't go that far for the Marceau. They're only 9-kilometer torpedoes. So I'm not too, too worried. Um, I probably should have popped the um, the Hydro maybe. if I mean, honestly, there's nothing out there. I was going to... Actually, my thought press is to save it for the submarine. The submarine, I need the Hydro to make sure I spot. Now, the cool thing about the Daring, the Hydro lasts a long, long time. Uh, now, that's a very good thing. Because you need to know when those torpedoes are coming in and they're good for sub hunting. Um, but all the hydros are the same for subs. I mean, the, if they dive, the, the, the closest you got to be is two kilometers or less to spot them with the hydro. If they're underwater, of course. And all right, we launch some torpedo spreads in there. I like the single launch torpedoes because then I get to choose the type of pattern I'd like to make sure that, hey, I uh, negate his ability to move. Now, hopefully the Colbert fires one more time. No, but I spot him. And right here, I'm debating, do I shoot or not? But he has a lot of HP right now, so I don't want to shoot him. Let's see if he runs in the torpedoes. I always have the smoke as my backup, just in case if I do need to fire. Now, we're losing all the caps, but at least the hair groom in the north is taking Bravo. Ooh, he takes that one shell, which gives me an opportunity to open fire. Might as well open fire. Now, watch. He's probably going to switch his guns to me. Why? Because I'm the juicier target. Yep, there he is. He starts shooting me. Now, my DPM has got to be enough to, to really kill this guy. I hope I knock 3,000 HP. You would think that would be enough, right? He goes undetected. Hopefully, a smoke firing penalty, but it doesn't work that way. I don't think the mechanic. Let me know in the comments. And boom, there goes our first kill. Let me know in the comments below how the smoke firing penalty works. If I'm in the smoke and the ship fires, but... I guess he was spotted by Yoshino to the southwest. There's just enough breakage in the smoke in the island that he spotted, thank goodness, the Colbert for me to shoot. But, uh, yeah, I don't think the penalty works when I'm in the smoke and the uh, ship is out um, in the open. So I guess that's uh, you know, a, a gimmick or programming they had in there. Anyways, uh, we're going to go ahead and move to the south. Okay, so we got the Haraguma to the, uh, my, our buddy, friendly Haraguma, is capping to the north, who's great. We defended Alpha, great. We never let the Colbert take that center point right there. Now all we have left is the four ships to the south. So I'm going to go ahead and open fire on the Prussian, see if I can get some shots off on him, start a fire or two. And I think he's, yep, he is on flooding. So we can get a fire right now. That would be good. Now the Marceau is opening fire on us. Now we, I don't know if I have the correct angle here. So I'm going to go ahead and, um, oh, and we have a submarine. This is bad news right here, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to have to really get out of dodge. We've got the torpedoes launched. I don't have my damage con, and the smoke is on cooldown. So I'm in a bad situation right here. So I made a mistake right there. I don't have a heal. I don't have smoke. <laughs> I'm literally, this is the worst situation to be in as a destroyer player. All I got to do is do the sh shimmy, shimmy, shake, shake, and avoid the guns and the torpedo homing torpedoes right there. And you notice the torpedo stopped homing within a certain distance, and I g was able to get the smoke just enough to throw off some of these shots. And that is how you would shimmy, shimmy, shake, shake out of that situation right there. I'm surprised the submarine did not follow. He is retreating, probably because he's afraid of my hydro. And everything's on cooldown, and we have a heal. See, this is why I like the heals on the daring because it heals your mistakes that you just create in the situation we're in. All right, so we're still four versus four right now. We have two caps. They have to make a move. So really, we're just going to hang out here, watch them make a move, and that usually leads to a mistake, and see if we can survive this onslaught. So we have a 40, and the, the smokes, I, if you didn't mention, their cooldown is really, really good. Very quick, quick smokes, quick reloads, really awesome. I like that. We've got torpedoes. Oh, I'm sorry. I ran into those torpedoes right there. Wasn't paying attention. And we launched random torpedoes because I think that Marceau is trying to chase me. Ouch. And then the GK blaps the Yoshino. We are now down to three ships. 
This is up to us, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have to hold and help our GK out. This is why destroyers are so good because they one spot for the battleship and as well as keep kind of a shield in front of the battleship to avoid torp being random torps or a submarine chasing you. Hergomo is still providing fire from a distance, uh, which is good for us. So we're spotting the, the Prussian for the, our Hergomo. So this is teamwork makes the dream work right here. We're going to continue spotting the Prussian while the Hergomo burns him down as much as possible. And, and here comes the... The uh, if you read the chat, this is where the the bitter bitter submarine and talk is starting to happen here. But here we got the Marceau. I don't have enough health to pick a fight. Had I had more health, I would have engaged a little earlier. But we're gonna switch to AP now. AP and the daring is incredible. British AP is really phenomenal. I really enjoy using it and I recommend it. Um, just provides so much damage. So we're going to wait right here and continue spotting the Marceau. Our concealment is way better than a Marceau. So this is why we are so good for the destroyer, the battleship player, because we are spotting uh, for him. Harigomo kills the other Prussian. That's good. And our GK is going to work and do the magic for us on the Marceau just by mere spotting. So that's really great. Now that he's low health, we're going to go ahead and uh, switch to our AP. And boom, splash two. He goes down. That takes him out. And that is how we eliminate that destroyer right there. And uh, yeah, that we were just using teamwork uh, skills right there in order to eliminate a, I would believe, an OP heavier destroyer against us as well. Again, it's not about the ship you pick. Sometimes it's just about what kind of tactics and the teamwork that you use. And now all we have left is the submarine, which is somewhere around here. I'm not. I'm really worried about charging the submarine because I'm being cautious because I don't know where he's at. And he could literally just pop up and just shoot me. Now, the new nerf to submarines was if you're 2.9 kilometers or less, the, dish, the torpedoes do 10% damage. So you, you get a reduction there. But again, I need to know where this destroyer player is at to make a more educated decision because I don't have much health to play with. I mean, he, if he launches an entire rack uh, of torpedoes into me, 10% or not, it's probably going to eliminate me. So right now we're going to go ahead and help the, uh, with the GK out. And this is pretty much not even fair for the GK. Nobody's spotting, nobody helping him. And it's pretty much open season on battleships right now with torpedoes. Yeah, <laughs> people are already making fun of the sub players. Like, yeah, I guess I don't blame you for playing a sub. I mean, I, I'm I'm sorry. I, I have to be with the, my fellow ship players. I, I mean, I don't like subs. And uh, yeah, to be picking, you know, subs and competitive and ranked and so forth. I, I disagree with that. Uh, I think you should just stay in so-called randoms or other situations, but that is a video for another time. Anyways, we're just kind of just picking off this uh, G carrier, just simple torpedoes, single launch, and I'm I'm kind of holding this last rack here because I'm kind of waiting. Most of the time, their hydro is up and they're also maneuvering, so. I'll probably miss this first salvo, so I'm going to wait for him to make a move and then launch the second one because maybe this person won't suspect that, oh, this player has another rack of torpedoes. So I'm going to launch him straight at him. Now, this is a technique I've learned that most of the time battleships will turn into you like that. So I just launched, I just do the simple thing and just launch torpedoes straight at the, the battleship. Even though the indicator is telling me he's trending to the right or left, most of the time players will turn towards you or just turn to maneuver and dodge. And I find that just by shooting a rack right at the battleship, just put the thing on the thing on the battleship and shoot, typically ends up in situations like this where the torpedoes kind of just naturally find its mark. And yeah, look at that chat. You guys read the chat. You can have fun with that, but I'm not going to be a part of that anyways. Uh, GK is burning down, and yep, there it is. Splash 3, and we get our third kill. 85,000 damage in this nice brawl, and that's how we win the game. So that's basically the techniques and tactics for the daring right there. I enjoyed a lot. Very good at stalling submarines. Very good at hunting destroyers. You can see it can take out cruisers, and you can see it can take out battleships. It's got the smoke. It's got the heels. Everything I love about the, the British-style AP and the British-style destroyer is really awesome. Not the fastest destroyer, but it, like I said, this thing is mere a multi-tool to go around and do everything you need to do as a good destroyer player is and that's how you kind of win the game right there for your team but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video the bill will be at the end of the screen we're at 2,000 subs as always thank you so much for uh, helping us and supporting the channel and building a better community and making it great and <laughs> despite reading the chat here um i'm always about you know being polite and being uh, respectful of everybody and also building a good time to learn something and enjoy this game as it was intended as always like scrub up and below appreciate at 2,000 subs we were doing a pre premium dd giveaway the link was at the beginning of the video and we're going to do it on monday in about two days here we'll do a drawing and we'll announce the winner as always you guys stay safe say hi out there and as always cheers take care